But anyways, around the Mac itself, you're going to notice on the bottom, there's nothing. You've got this and that's it. On the back, you got some ventilation. On uh, here, this is where you open up the lid. And right on the side, you're just going to have to charge your USB-Cs or Thunderbolt, whatever you want to call them. And on the other side, that's just for your headphones. That's it. So again, I uh, just want to compare this to a MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro has a lot more. A MacBook Air, they keep it a little bit more simple, but they have less space to work with. They are thinner. They're definitely not as thin as the old ones. So if you guys have an old MacBook Air, you're not going to notice that that's thinner than these. These new MacBook Airs, they're a little bit thicker. And that's it. That's it. That's all you guys get around the MacBook. If we open it up, it's just going to turn on right away. If it doesn't, well, you have to charge it up. But usually they come with some charge. They never want to let these guys just die on you. So technically, this should always come with some charge. So right now, let's just go on and just turn it on so you guys can see. And before I turn it on, I want to also mention that if uh, you touch this with your hands, it's very easy to get smudges on this type of finish. But anyways, let's just open this up so you guys can see. Here we go. It's just going to turn on by itself right away. We've got our trackpad, standard keyboard. And there we go. We're ready to set this up. Also would like to note that it doesn't really matter which MacBook Air you guys got. They're all going to be the exact same thing when you look inside the box. Even the keyboard and all that stuff is going to be the same thing. Right here, the screen, it's gonna move this up a little bit. Up here, that's the camera. So that's for your face ID. Down here below, you're gonna see this right here. That's actually a power button. And also, it's for your fingerprint. So it's a button and for fingerprint. I'm gonna go on and zoom in a little bit better so you guys can see that. So on the top right hand corner, so on the top, once again, this is for fingerprint and your power buttons. If I want to turn this off and force shut it down, maybe I don't want to set it up right now, I can just hold on to it and that's going to force shut it down. Obviously, you don't want to do this every time to shut it down. You should do it from your menu. It's just to force shut it down because you may not want to just do the setup right at this second. Other than that, there's not much more to show you around the Mac itself. It is thinner than the MacBook Pro. It is lighter than MacBook Pro and a lot of people are going for these for that matter and uh, you can edit videos on these. Obviously, it's not gonna be as fast, but they're still pretty good and they're really portable. So if you're watching this because you're thinking about getting MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, yes, this would be lighter and more convenient. However, you will miss out on the power. And uh, if you guys saw my unboxing for MacBook Pro, you do end up with less connections right here with a MacBook Air that you might or might not need, depends on your own needs. But yes, this is very, very thin. And that's the cool thing about these MacBook Airs. And it's always been the same thing. But as far as this video, we are all done. That's it. That's all we can show you. If you guys want to see this thing in action, make sure to watch the setup video and the manual. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.